see I got those bagels you like. And coffee, the Colombian one. I can make you a pop before I go. At least look at me when I'm talking to you. I know you think I'm invisible, but What I do you expect? Yell at me, throw something, but quit acting like I don't exist. You don't. Rachel, I stuffed up. I know I shouldn't have done the friend thing when what I wanted was something else. It was stupid. I just wanted you so bad. I can't stand this. I can't stay here if you hate me. See yourself. You don't care. Okay. That's it then. I'm out of here for good. You've got what you want. It's not. What? I don't want you to go, Rangel, right? Okay. I spell with my little I something beginning with F. Flowers? <laughs> Philandra. What's a philandra? Never mind. I have had the worst day. Will you make it better? Rack off. We both know I'm not the girl for you. Right? Oh, don't aim me. Come on, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Emily does. You said you'd sorted it out. I have. I'm fat, I've got really sore feet, and I don't need a sex-starved morgue attendant moving in on my man, no matter how drab she is. Oh, you're being stupid. <sighs> Look, if you want to be my man, you sort it out now. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I'll talk to Emily tomorrow. No, no, you missed the operative word. I said now. Never grow up, kid. Good riddance. I don't like it when people fight. Never mind, Harvey. Um, more I spy? When's Daddy coming back? When he's put all the bad people in jail. We can go home then. Well, you can, but your Daddy lives with me now. No, he goes away sometimes, but he always comes home to Mummy and me. Well, that's for work, but this is different. No, it's not. Mummy said... He was gone a long time before, and she was really sad. But Daddy came back, and he loved us more than ever. Easy. Easy. I'm not going to hurt you. We need a quiet little talk. I thought you... But I was in jail. They don't keep you locked up for chastising your wife. Especially if she doesn't lay a complaint. What do you want? To give you what you've always wanted from me. Money. I don't understand. Simple business transaction. $20,000 in your bank account. If when the coppers come to take your statement, you tell them you fell down the stairs. They won't believe me. Helen knows what happened. But she didn't see me do it. She's only got your word for what it's worth. What's one more lie, Carla, when you're so good at it? No, I won't do it. You owe me. No, go away. Don't make me lose my temper again. Out. Get out of here, Bernie. Do it now. In Hollywood... I sold dreams and I loved it, but here I'm giving away reality. Eleni Promotions offers each and every one of you the chance to take charge of your own life. As you learn the techniques that Sam and I have already mastered, you'll find that you deserve and can have everything you've always wanted. So seize the opportunity. <sighs> Thanks, Christy. Now that was truly inspirational. Any questions? Um, this sounds really good to me. I mean, you guys really have all the answers. And it's not just for me. I know heaps of people that would really be into it. Basically what I'm saying is, how can I get what you've got? That's what I like to see. Enthusiasm. And we've got the answer for you. We've got tapes for sale tonight. Now these include some of what you've heard already. Plus a whole lot more. Now before you make the investment of a lifetime, let's have a short break. Please, help yourselves to the refreshments. Kirsty and I will be more than happy to come and speak to you personally. So... You were terrific, not too obvious. Great going, guys. I know, I should have been an actress. Okay, now let's mingle, keep the adrenaline pumping. Oh. Is 
Hi, welcome to Unity Promotions Introduction. Please come in. Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Well, this is very pleasant. I'm sorry, Terry's running late. He shouldn't be much longer. Oh, I'm not sure that I should be here myself. Oh, why? Well, people do know that I've interceded with the school board on Terry's behalf. There could be allegations of corruption. How very politically astute of you, Marge. Which is why I'd like to put a little proposition to you. There's a group of us in the community who feel a real need for honest and effective representation in local government. We think you could provide it. What? Me run for the city council? It's not inconceivable, is it? You're, you're honest and well-known and respected, and you've proven yourself with your work with the school. You'd make a very attractive candidate. <laughs> do you think so? I have to ask my husband first. Please do that, but soon, eh? The election's only weeks away. We'd love to have you on board. Yes, we're well, all at sixes and sevens, I'll have to go to the ladies. Of course. Yeah. Guy, how are you? Please. Oh, I'd love to. Though I shouldn't put off the evil moment. I'm only here to break someone's heart. Serious business. I'm just too nice, you know. Either that or Emily's a lot thicker than I thought. She keeps sending me these flowers and <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Actually, it's not Emily who's thick. I sent the flowers, Guy. I'm... What can I say? I'm in love with you. The international statistics are looking very favourable. You know they're going to publish out of Edinburgh. Mm, so I heard. If we can get our stats collated and reviewed in time, we could enter an interim report. By doctors Keats and Divine. <laughs> you bastard! How could you? How could you use my little girl for your sick experiments? Mrs. If Mrs. she dies, you're next. You count on 